Skadoo, Skaday. Do you know the way? <gasps> no. Do you like that meme? What? Do you like that meme? What meme is that? Do you know the way? No. Do you know that meme? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you know VR chat? Uh, yes. So. I know of it. <clears throat> Welcome back to Mountain Dew Chaps. Mountain Dew Chaps. Talk about memes. Sponsored by Mountain Dew. Get the dew fresh from the poop. Right, whatever. So. Alright, I can hear the Duke's directive now, but I'm not going to do that yet. The the meme is called Ugandan Knuckles. Okay. And, uh. That yeah. sounds racist. Some people think it is. <laughs> it's basically a bunch of people walking around in VR chat as uh, a, a very squished down knuckles that someone I've drew. Seen, I've seen that one. And then they go around and ask if you know the way. Oh, yes. Never mind. I have seen that. I just didn't know what by name. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. have seen that. Do you know the way? I don't understand what that means, but okay. Yes, I have seen that before. Well, and, I, and I was adding a skidoo skiday to it because there's another meme that's called uh, skididi or skididdle skadoodle. Your dick is now a noodle. Oh. And that that was the meme. It was really shitty. Who comes up with that shit? Fucking annoying. <laughs> Some people, yeah, they're really dumb. They're, the pro they're probably the people that's like, oh my god, that's so hella epic. Lol, wins. So, Windsor. Miss Price is the one who's making them all? <laughs> I don't know. Same people who probably get excited for, like, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 or some shit. But yeah, Dennis and uh, Jonathan Small play that <gasps> game like fucking constantly. VR chat? Yeah. Why? It's, uh... They're trying to find some pootie tag on there? <laughs> well, they both got pootie tag. So you got, they got the... They downloaded the pootie tag skin? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, um... Basically, they meet up and they talk in VR because I I believe John's got a Oculus. Why not just talk on the phone or Skype or something? <laughs> because you can see each other and move around. I know, but if you just are doing it to talk, then just do Skype. It's free. But you can also do little games in the in the uh, game. Whatever. That kind of needs to calm down. See, that's why I'm like I don't know. I, I don't care about any of that shit because I'm like I don't I don't see the point. And John can dress up as a little anime girl. Yeah, it's kind of John to be Hatsune Miku. And Dennis dr dresses up as a Gundam. <laughs> I was expecting him to be like Tien or something like that from Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> something like that, something like that. Yeah. 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 But um. And you, ha and I'm, I mean, I'm assuming you have to have VR to play that game. Um. Yes. Okay. Which most people have, like PlayStation VR. And they're on it. Oh. But. See, I don't know. I'm not I'm not super into the whole uh, VR craze as much. I want to get an HTC Vive, but I just don't have the money to fling. Like, gonna... I'm get, I, have, I'm, I have a lot of money, and I could buy it right now if I really wanted to. Yeah, but, Do the, I? but then you'd uh, not have money for other things. Like rent. Yeah. Car like, insurance. That's the important payment. stuff. See, Billy, you gotta do what I do. Like, every, after every paycheck, or like, you know, day of work, or whatever, take like maybe, you know, five, ten bucks, just put it in a plastic bag somewhere. And just do that every, every time you can afford to. Not saying every time you work, or whatever, but every time you can afford to. Mm -hmm. Just put it, you know, put away like ten, maybe twenty dollars at a time. And then after, you know, a few months, you'll have a few hundred dollars put away. And then that's when you get it. That's what I do for all my music gear stuff, is I kind of just like, periodically will put money away yeah I usually don't buy it all like in one lump yeah one lump well uh, for me sum. it's more of i know how much my expenses are uh -huh. and stuff like that so i really i don't put anything aside physically sure 
I know mentally how much I have to have put aside. Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! Okay, he's dead. But I always save extra. <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> Just a bunch of people coming Oh my out. god, that frame rate dip. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you get the PS4 <laughs> version. Shit, dog. That dude died. <laughs> No, yeah. yeah, I know. Well, you don't spend physical cash like I do. Yeah. I, I typically get cash more so than use my card. So it's like I I will take some and just put it aside for stuff like that, you know. But, that's, but I mean, that's the way to do it. You know, you live within your means, and then if you can afford to put a, put aside some money every so often, and again, it doesn't have to be much. Yeah. I wouldn't advise it to be that much anyway at a time, but it's like, you know, put away, you know, like 10 bucks a week or something, whatever. And then after a period of time, you'll know, hopefully have enough to the point where even if you're not, even if you don't have enough for the whole thing, you can at least like, oh, it's like, well, that's three hundred bucks less than I would have to pay normally or something. Yeah. You know? Well, so the way I work it is basically, I want to have enough money to be able to pay my rent for two uh, whole months, uh -huh. and along with my car insurance, yeah, mm -hmm. and all the other bills. Uh, at all times. Uh -huh. Which I have. That makes sense. That's perfectly reasonable. <clears throat> and I have probably like... There's a fucking ogre in here. I can smell it. I probably have like $300 extra right now that I could yeah, but, spend on it. Yeah, but you don't want But to obviously that. that's not enough. That's, and that's and not that's not. I would have smart. to dip into yeah. my my stuff. Yeah. And the way I see it is, Sounds if I have two months' areas. worth areas. of rent along with everything else, that saves me in case something happens. Right, exactly. No, that, no that's, that's the smart way to do it. Because there are those people out there who would be like, well, you know what, I want this thing and I want it now. Yeah. And like, you know, everything will be fine, whatever, and then, you know, like, like what just happened to you recently, you, got, yeah. you know, had some, had some car trouble. And it's like, you know, you need that money for your car because otherwise you can't get to your job, right? So it's like, you know, and then anybody who went out and be like, oh, I wanted to get the vibe, blah, blah, blah. It's like now you don't have money to sustain yourself. Yeah. So Luckily, annoying. my car uh, paying to fix it was not that much. Good, it good. It was basically just um, a, little, a little bit more than my insurance. Good. So I'm down one month of insurance, but I'm not down... Well, that's worse. That's better Anything than what else. it could have been. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. So, you know, I've been working these extra Saturdays, so everything's been recouped really quick. Good. I'm glad. I'm getting like $150 extra than I normally do. I'm glad. So, so I know I know that shit sucks. Well, I'm I mean, not to mention you just kind of had a little bit of... A little bit of a rough time with your car, what with the deer and all that, too. So it's yeah. like, you know, I'm glad that it... Didn't end up being worse than what you th what thought it might have been. Yeah, I thought I was like, I was ready for it to cost me like a thousand dollars or something. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. going to have to um, just sell the car. Hey, let's get your fat ass over. Here. Sell the car to them, let them fix it, and then get us on the pedestal. Yeah, and then uh, buy a new car later, and just have to get rides with Mitch for a while. Yeah. So, um, luckily that didn't happen. Good. And I can, good, good, good. I'm back on the road. Life is good. But yeah, so I could buy it, but then I would be cutting into no, I my rent money. And no, I, I understand. Dude, if you want if you want that shit badly enough, you'll find a way to get it. Yeah. That's, that's my... I'll sell my tits on the street if I really wanted that bad. Uh, I don't know if you have to do that. <laughs> I'm sure somebody would, though, for it. Oh, Mr. Mr. Small actually might be moving in. Oh. Yeah. You going to charge him rent? Yeah, of course. What am I, a fucking free person? I don't know. But yeah. Um, don't give him the illusion that you like him too much. <laughs> yeah, basically, he was telling me, he's like, yeah, I've been having some troubles at my mom's house and all that, and I was wondering if I could move in. And then I'm like, yeah, let me talk to Mitch, see see what he thinks. And we're both like, yeah, that'd be fine. And by him moving in, it would save um, Mitch and I $150 each. 
That's pretty dope. So, you know, $150 less on the rent is $150 extra. More towards that vibe, bitch. $150 for that vibe, bitch. But I don't know if it's still, if he's actually going to do it or not, because he hasn't. Uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. Don't don't bank on it, I yeah. would say. Why are you going to be immature? What? What? I'm playing the game. Can't you hear me playing the game? Yeah, but you're being immature by forcing them to hear you. Shut, shut up. You're concentrating. This is intricate gameplay right here. But what if he does, like, a, a wicked backflip? Shut up. Oh, shit, I fell. It's because you're running out of stamina. Yeah, tired. Look at his cheeks, though. It's yeah, like he's, a baboon. Yeah, he's like a baboon. What are these, ogres? These are ogres. Normally, uh... He's a shrek. Uh, actually, I would say ogres and cyclopses normally are roughly the same size. Not in this universe. Not in this universe. But then it really depends on the universe. Because sometimes trolls are about that size, too. In oh. some universes. Like... Like Lord of the Rings, this would be a troll size. Actually, a troll would probably be almost double the size, but not not. Are the are the orcs the big thing in that in that universe still? Kind of like what they were in Shadow of Mordor, or is that just the game? Um, orcs, urukai, and goblins. Is that what they're called, uruks or whatever? Yeah, that's what they're called, right? But those are the ones that Sauron makes. Because uh, they're like a, a genetic hybrid. What's the what's the things at Helm's Deep? Urukai. Oh, are those the ones that have dreadlocks? Um, some some do. <laughs> it's when you have Kai at the end, and automatically I assume that there's fucking uh, dreadlocks involved. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of them actually do have dreads. No, so. I know, I know that. I so know. yeah, I know it that. works. Oh, I know. But yeah, Urukai. But if you ever have like a you know, a variant of that with Kai at the end or something, there's always dreadlocks. Fucking mark my words on that shit. <laughs> but yeah, they're um, I think I think they're either an amalgamation between orcs and goblins. Mixed with magic, or it's orcs and humans. I'm going to use my burning Bruce Lee roundhouse slice to attack I three of the trolls. I can't really remember, mainly because I didn't care that much. All I know is they're magic and imbued, and they they don't have the problems that uh, orcs and all of them have in the Tolkien universe. Because I believe orcs, if, if they're like... Uh, Du like direct sunlight, they'll actually uh, have. They won't. They won't turn to stone like some trolls, but they'll be like weakened what? and stuff like that. Is that a thing? Yeah. That's stupid. <sighs> Let me check to make sure. <laughs> it's really involved. And I don't care. I remember in fifth grade, my teacher was reading us The Hobbit. He would read it to us, like, sometimes at the end of the day, and I don't really know why. In fifth grade, it was when I, I, I read The Hobbit. See, I don't, I don't know. It's never really grabbed me. I don't know why. I'm, I'm just not super interested in that world very much, I guess. I, I liked the... Uh, I played through uh, Shadow of Mordor, like, not too long ago, and I liked that game. I think it's a cool game. Kind of re repetitive, but yeah. it's, it's pretty good. Um, I think I remember I played it when it first came out. I remember I think I rented it, but then they they must have had it on like a flash sale or something like that, and I got it for like ten bucks or some shit. And then uh, I beat it, and by the time I was done with it, I mean I, they had a bunch of DLC stuff that you could do, like extra campaigns and stuff. Uh, and you play as the ghost guy, whatever his name was, the guy who made the ring. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm like, nope, I'm bored. So I stopped playing. Bore. Get a little, yeah, that guy. So I stopped playing like immediately once I got to that point. I'm like, all right, I'm done. 
Because the game is like, you do the exact same shit. Yeah. That was a good game, though. I liked it for what it was. I kind of wanted to check out Shadow of War, but I'm like, I don't want to pay full price for that game right now. And I didn't. And I'm yeah. glad I didn't. Yeah, it's not worth it. Because I'm like, the game, that's one of those sequels that's like exactly the same as the first one. So I'm like, why would I want to play the exact same game again? It does look like they upped a couple of things, though. Like, they kind of made the Nemesis system a little bit better. Which I like. I also like that they added decapitations into the game. Like, uh, I know you could cut dudes' heads off and shit, but, like, I wanted, uh... I wanted ones that were, like, you know, you cut a dude's arm off and then he's, like, incapacitated or something. Yeah, it's, like, real, like, yeah. visceral. Yeah, and they finally did that in Shadow of War, but I, I, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna pay, you know even remotely full price for that game because I'm not really that interested. So. That's my my excuse for that. Next time on Chinstrap Chaps, um, I think we can go talk to the Duke now. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to fucking lick a pick. Uh, I'm gonna lick a pick.